Good evening, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Vicki here coming to you from Southeast Central Kansas. The washroom report. Okay, it is September the 2nd, 2020, or so the calendar says. Um, first off, tonight is known as a corn moon. It is a full moon tonight. There will not be a harvest moon this month for the first time in many years, as I've heard. Um, Rosh Hashanah, per uh, Hebrew Jewish uh, calendars, um, are saying that Rosh Hashanah will start on September the 18th and then Yom Kippur. Uh, will be coming. It will be known as the Feast of Tabernacles. Um, it could happen at any time now, y'all. Um, I'm going to provide a link that was released this morning uh, around 8.30. Um, it, it was uh, in Jerusalem, Prime Minister Netanyahu with Jared Kushner and um, uh, Mr. Kelly. Um, I'm going to provide you the clip below. Okay, please watch it. Um, the words peace, prosperity, stability, security was used by every single man. Obviously, giving uh, President Trump of the USA of this new world, yes, that's how it was spoken as. Um, it's uh, it's it's happening. It's what a time to be alive. Um, for a while, they are saying peace and safety, security, stability, however you want to say it. While they are saying it, then sudden destruction shall come upon them as a woman travails in birth, and they shall not escape. They will not escape. We will. We are going in the rapture of the Bride of Christ. All of us who have been waiting and yearning and just want to get out of here because the Holy Spirit has given us um, the wisdom and the knowledge and the discernment uh, through Jesus Christ and the Father. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, you have to watch. It's about 28 minutes long, I believe. You can kind of fast forward here and there. But I'm telling you, the, wor the all of those words that I just told you were all being said at, in some form or fashion. Uh, it's, it's incredible. Incredible. Okay, they talked about the Abraham Accords. Um, I believe this has got to be the Noahide Laws, the seven Noahide Laws, um, which we don't live under the law. Amen. We live under grace, for it is a gift of God that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Aramaic Hebrew, um, that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish but shall have everlasting life you must believe that he died on the cross for your sins almost 2,000 years ago and that God the Father raised him up from the grave three days later exactly as the scriptures proclaim believe it it's almost time for home you don't want to be left here uh, you just don't want to be left here. Um, you're going to have to trust me on this and trust many Christians that are trying to tell y'all that Jesus is coming. Um, things are so messed up. Things are so dark right now. Um, I'm going through personal agonies myself, and I know that many of you are as well. Keep looking up. I know it's hard to pray right now. It's just... It's just like this huge dark cloud over us. Um, I just went out. I just went out. Amen. Um, please watch the video, the uh, video um, of the press conference that was given today in Jerusalem. Okay. Um, and tomorrow, Kushner uh, will be leaving uh, 
to go to the UAE, United Arab Emirates, to meet with the Saeed guy. Yes, because I'm not I'm not calling him that big old long hoopla stuff that he's got in front of his name. <laughs> He's going to thank his royal highness. Amen. We know who is the king. Who is the king of majesty. The king of glory. It all is the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the king of kings and the lord of lords. He is the savior of man. Period. There is no other savior. Jesus alone saves. Ask him into your heart. He loves you. We love you. We're praying for the lost. Please. Do not take the mark of the beast. Um, I believe that, well, many of us believe it's this RFID chip. It could, it's going to be inserted into your skin, either uh, in your right uh, forehand, uh, in between like the thumb and the index finger, or it will be inserted into your forehead. Okay? No. Anyone who accepts the mark of the beast will burn in hell for all eternity. And you can check all these scriptures out in Revelation uh, chapter 13, Revelation chapter 14. Do not take the mark. And you still can be saved in the tribulation. Just put your faith, your hope, your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ alone. Um, I love you guys. We'll talk soon. I'll see you upstairs. Maranatha.